You can't drive by without looking at it, and we get asked frequently, is that a school? It certainly doesn't look like a school. It is beautiful. I think it's always interesting to watch parents and students come into the building. I think they're always wowed by the building and, and how it's designed because it is very different from when we were in school. The vision for Fisher Middle School is based on a STEAM concept, science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. Now we have STEAM projects in other schools. We have STEM projects in other schools. What makes Fisher most unique, however, is the fact that this facility was designed around the delivery of a STEAM curriculum. That STEAM curriculum being delivered in a project-based environment. I cannot begin to describe how impressed I was with the amount of time and effort that went into the design and putting that design forward into the actual building. So the minute you walk into the building and you see it for the first time, all you can do is your mind is cluttered with all the possibilities that come up and what you can do that will benefit kids and to help them be successful. Amazing, I mean, really unbelievable. One of my favorite quotes is from Ben Franklin. It says, tell me and I forget, teach me and I remember, but involve me and I learn. And so basically our goal at Fisher is to involve children in hands-on learning each and every day. It can provide anything that you can create for your students to be able to do. Because of all of the different spaces that we have, because of the flexibility and movement of furniture and in classrooms, it allows us to be project-based because it allows for the flexibility for students to work together and have larger spaces that they need or work in a different classroom. So it gives us the flexibility for all of our students to be involved in that project-based work. It is easier to work on projects in this building because if you're working in groups, you can spread out and not be interrupted by other groups. And then if you build something and test it, like I was doing a Leonardo da Vinci project, then you could go outside and test it on the courtyard if you needed to. You don't have to be crowded and with all the other students in a certain classroom. You can also just go out into the common areas and also into the collaboration rooms. You don't feel as like squished in with the other students, like you feel like you can relax and everything. And, and also because of the natural light, because I always find the natural light to make the illusion that the room is bigger and that makes me like more relaxed and everything and it's just like easier to see instead of like boring ceiling lights. You'll notice that a lot of the systems within the building are exposed. They're not only exposed, they are color-coded and in many cases labeled. When you walk by a closet that houses uh, the servers for the technology for the school, they're in a glass encased closet which allows students to see them actually working. It spurs study, it spurs question, it spurs discussion. They see the same thing in the HVAC system, the cold water lines, the hot water lines, all those lines are exposed, they're color coded. In that way, the building itself can become a teaching tool for the teachers and a learning tool for the students. I think my favorite place on the campus is the courtyard. Um, I like the courtyard because it's a really a uh, big and easy space to work with and for a lot of my classes we go outside and we'll do fun activities out there and everything and we'll work with the amphitheater and um, just the pathway and the grass and everything and then the small little area right near the lobby that we'll sometimes use as a stage too. I think we'd have to give it a, we'd have to give it a note. It's the words of our own students, the words of our faculty, but most importantly, it's what people see when they walk th through this facility and they are actually witness to the type of learning that takes place and the construct under which it takes place. Who would not want to be in a facility of this magnitude? It's just the most incredible facility I've ever been involved in and I've enjoyed every minute of it.